HDFS is designed for storing very large files with streaming data access pattern. It is designed for very large files. Very large in this context means files that are hundreds of megabytes, gigabytes or even terabytes in size. It is designed for streaming data access. It is built around the idea that most efficient data processing pattern is a right ones, read many times pattern. A data set is typically generated or copied from the source and then various analysis are performed on that data set over time. Each analysis will involve a large proportion, if not all, of the data set. So, the time to read the whole data set is more important than the latency in reading the first record. It is designed for commodity hardware. Hadoop does not require expensive, highly reliable hardware. It is designed to run on commonly available hardware that can be obtained from multiple vendors. HDFS is designed to carry on working without a noticeable interruption to the user in case of hardware failure. It is also worth knowing the applications for which HDFS does not work so well. HDFS does not work well for low latency data access. Applications that require low latency data access in the tens of milliseconds range will not work well with HDFS. HDFS is optimized for delivering high throughput and this may be at the expense of latency. HDFS is not a good fit if we have lot of small files because the name node holds file system metadata in the memory. If you have more number of files, more will be metadata and hence more memory will be consumed. So, if you have many small files, bundle them together, create a bigger file and then store in HDFS. If we have multiple writers and arbitrary file modifications, HDFS is not a good fit. Files in HDFS are modified by a single writer at any point of time. Writes are always made at the end of file in the append only fashion. There is no support for modifications at arbitrary offsets in the file. 